Ah, the story of Groundhog Day. Early in the morning on February 2nd, thousands of people gather in the freezing cold at a place called Gobbler's Knob to watch a group of men known as the Inner Circle rip a groundhog out of a tree stump. Legend has it that this groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, is over 100 years old and is being kept alive solely for this international media spectacle. One performance a year? Well, that show business dreams right there. I'm Sandy Honig. And I'm Peter Smith. As performers ourselves, we're making a pilgrimage from New York City to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to pay homage to this show business icon. They say don't meet your heroes, but we're gonna try. This is the noble road to Gobbler's Knob. First stop, Phil's burrow. You know, his green room. He's not in here. Wait, wait, wanna look for him? We have to look for him. We're here to meet Phil. Phil was here. Phil was here. Looks like he stepped in some mustard. Peter! Peter! Look, Gobblers have got talent. It's a talent show. Now that's a good squirt. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is be one of the two finalists, and then we can perform on the stage on Groundhog Day. We will be on stage with Phil. Yeah. If we win. We will not just be meeting Phil, we would be castmates. I do have one thing I want to make clear. It's Groundhog Day. We are not celebrating all groundhogs. We are celebrating Punxsutawney Phil. Groundhog Day. Hell yeah. As far as the inner circle, we are Punxy Phil's caretakers, handlers. Um, we're here to promote him, protect him. Um, perpetuating the legend of Punxsutawney Phil. Perpetuate the legend. He found us. When he came out of the woods, it was understood that this one had something to, to say. So we read that uh, the only people that can speak to Phil are the inner circle because they speak Groundhoggies. No, actually only our president. The president of the Groundhog Club is the only one that can speak Groundhoggies, and he is given that power through his cane that is passed down from president to president to president. Is there anything you can tell us about Phil, you know, things that he likes, you know, just to give us a little more information, just so we kale. can kind of... Yeah, he likes his greens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he loves kale. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. He loves his wife. He's straight. Pretty stiff competition. We got a woman singing Bohemian Rhapsody. These girls are gymnasts. We got a comedian. Do you know where Phil goes when he gets sick? The hog spittle. Well, good luck. Good luck. I don't think they have what it takes. This is a costume song and dance duo to Oh What a Beautiful Morning. Please welcome, from New York, Peter Smith and Sandy Honig. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow Oh, what a beautiful morning Oh, what a beautiful day We didn't know what to expect when she lifted that tuxedo so to uh, give you the results of the two finalists, please welcome once again our judge from Pittsburgh, Slippy Sidewalks. It looks like we're going to have Peter Smith and Sandy Honig to compete at Gobbler's Knob next Saturday, doing Oh What a Beautiful Morning. I think as... We're going to Gobbler's wow. Knob. We're going to Gobbler's Knob! I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Oh, well, no, you nailed it. Speechless. Truly speechless. Now, we got some details to hash out, okay? Okay. okay. This is just the beginning, so you're going to do this again in one week? Absolutely. <laughs> With that, the festivities begin. Gobbler's Knob Got Talent kicks off the week leading up to Phil's big day. The winners? This dynamic duo who traveled from New York and brought some great vocals in the silly spirit of the holiday. 
it was uh, circusy and goofy and totally fun. And I thought that that morning, next Saturday morning, it would be great to hear. Oh, what a beautiful morning! This is so exciting. We're at Gobbler's Knob and Phil is in that stump over there. There's a tree stump and he's inside of us. It's now two hours and 15 minutes till Puxatawney Phil. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Phil's. How many Groundhog Days have you been to? This will be 21. Wow. Okay, so you gotta have 21 on there. No, they stopped making them, so I got what I got. You live around here? Born a race, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you got this thing. You got, you got, you got all this. You got fun. I, yes, I have. You got PH fun. You got it all. Got it all, buddy. We have this. And you come here every year? No. My girlfriend pissed me off, so I bundled up and got in a bus and came up to the knob. <laughs> we have a talent show. It's called Gobbler's Knob's Got Talent. You need to pay attention because these guys are competing for 500 bucks. Whoa! You, you are going to decide which one gets it. Finalist number one, they come to us from Brooklyn, New York. Please welcome Sandy Honig and Peter Smith. All the cattle are standing like statues. All the cattle are standing like statues. Ha ha ha! I'm ten feet tall! What a beautiful morning, oh, what a beautiful day! Yes, yes, give praise. To just be on the stage with him. You know what, money can't buy that. Send in the top hats! The Inner Circle welcomes you to Gobbler's Knob. Phil talks in Groundhog Eats, and this is what Phil said. Gunga, gunga, la, gunga, gunga, la, gunga. Which, in Groundhog Eats, is Happy Groundhog Day. Gunga, 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 All hail Groundhog Supremacy! All, All hail, hail Groundhog, Groundhog Supremacy. Supremacy! Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. So is it early spring or more winter forecast? Stop the music. Here is my forecast. Faithful followers, there is no shadow of me. A beautiful spring, it shall be! It's Groundhog Day. We are not celebrating all groundhogs. We are celebrating Punxsutawney Phil. We did it. <laughs> Ultimately, we did it. Uh oh. Where's the van? Where's the van? Oh God. Van. Van. Six more weeks of looking for the van. It's right? early spring.